Today's apartment is in a class of its own at a price that's just about unbeatable. We're talking two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a private terrace on Lexington Avenue by Herald Square, which is one of the most convenient parts of Manhattan. And since this apartment's around $2,500 per person, it's way better than getting a crappy studio by yourself somewhere. Here we are at Park and 33rd Street. We just got off the six train. And this right here is the closest train to the apartment. But if you head just five minutes west, you can get all the trains that are at 34th Street, Herald Square. And that's great. Anywhere you wanna get to will be super simple. But if you need the six train, you are gonna love this location because we're just a block and a half from where the train let us off. And that right there is the building. Right across the street, you've got a diner. Right here on the 34th Street corner, there's a little deli. And one avenue east on 3rd Avenue, you've got a bunch of bars and cafes right over here. But most convenient of all, right there across the street, you have a Trader Joe's supermarket. If you live here, it's gonna be easy to get places because of so much transit, and it's gonna be easy to live your life on a weekly basis because delis, supermarkets, and fun places to hang out are all pretty much just outside your door. Now, let's go check out the building in the apartment. building's got a pretty cool roof deck. You've got a direct view of the Chrysler building. And if you look south, you can see One World Trade. Definitely, this is pretty cool. We're not getting a lot of noise from the street, but we are getting a fair amount of sound from helicopters and things. I don't know if you'll find that annoying. Now, unfortunately, I don't see any furniture up here, so it looks like you'll have to bring that on your own. But this deck does kind of wrap around the entire top floor of the building and you can see north, south, east, and west. And if you were having friends over your apartment and you had an amenity like this in the building, this would also be a cool place for you to hang out maybe before or after you go out to eat. Or if you're here by yourself and you're not entertaining guests, just bring a chair up here, relax, read a book. Definitely kind of cool. Now let's go see the apartment. Well, uh, it looks like you may not need to go to the roof deck to enjoy yourself outside because this is an absolutely insane amount of personal space private for the apartment. And right here on the other side of this closet, we've got laundry in the unit. Now, what's also kind of cool, but might not seem like a big deal at first, is that just outside the apartment, right through this door, you've got a trash chute. So far, I'm liking the way that this looks. Now what we're gonna do is check this place out so that you can decide if it's worth it or not. And if you wanna help me out, make sure you subscribe. That way YouTube will show my videos to more people. Just after walking in through the front door, we enter right into the living space. This closet's where the laundry is, but this one right here looks really useful. This looks like it could double as a coat closet and as storage because there's shelf space. And right here opposite the front door, we've got the first of the two bathrooms. Not bad, you've got a nice big mirror right here. Plus there is a medicine cabinet and it's a big one. The sink's not half bad, there's decent counter space and there's also a standing shower instead of a bathtub. But really the most impressive feature of this apartment has to be the living room and the private outdoor space by far. From the door to the fridge, You've got 19 feet, 10 inches by eight feet. And that measurement does not include any of the space behind me. And this gives you some options. You could set up your living room in this area over here, which would be pretty simple. Or you could put a couch lengthwise this way and then your entertainment center right across from it. Having the couch over here by the door and the entertainment center in this area would make the most sense if your goal is to have both an inside living room area like a den and an area to sit and eat with like a dining table, that would probably go best over here by the kitchen. But no matter what setup you decide to go with, there is just so much space out here on the deck and I just can't really get over it. From this end of the deck all the way down there to the end, you've got 39 feet. 
That's a ton of space, and if you ever get in a fight with your roommate, you could just draw a line right down the middle of this deck, and you could each have your own side, and you don't even have to deal with each other. That's how big it is. You could have an awesome setup out here with chairs, tables, additional seating. It's pretty tricky to see inside the apartment from outside. This glass is really reflective. I don't even know if you'd need to get curtains. And that's good, because if this was my apartment, I certainly wouldn't want to block all the natural light that's coming in here and filling up the living space. But if it does get too bright, or if you do want some privacy, it looks like we've got some shades built in. Not bad, now let's check out the kitchen and then we'll compare the bedroom. You've got a full-size, double-sided fridge. There's a dishwasher, and frankly, there better be for 5,000 bucks a month. You've also got a five burner stove and a microwave. There's also a decent amount of counter space, which will make it pretty easy to make things. And the cabinet space here looks really good. They even put in tiny little drawers like this guy right here. No space has gone to waste. Now, you could complain that there's no wine fridge here, and if you do, I'm not gonna blame you but there is a plug right here next to the real refrigerator where you could easily plug one in. Now right here next to the kitchen through this door is the second bathroom. This one's very similar to the first bathroom, but it has a full-size tub. And it looks like the sink is a little bit bigger in here. You've also got a medicine cabinet as well, plus another one of those big mirrors that the first room had. Now, what's really nice about the setup of these bathrooms is the one we're standing in is directly across from one of the bedrooms. And the other bathroom right here is right next to a bedroom as well. Since one bedroom is all the way down on this end of the apartment and the other one is around the corner there on the other side of the kitchen, they're as far away from each other as they can get. And if you're sharing this apartment with someone else, you're both gonna have a lot of privacy, which in a multi-person apartment is generally kind of tricky. The bedroom closest to the kitchen is 13 feet 5 inches by 8 feet 4 inches. And the bedroom closest to the front door is 11 feet 11 inches by 10 feet 3 inches. I feel like whoever designed this apartment wanted to make it as even as possible because the bigger bedroom is next to the bathroom that has the standing shower, not the bathtub. And the bigger bedroom has a slightly smaller closet. This is the closet in the bigger bedroom. And if this isn't enough storage space for you, you're probably gonna wanna put some dressers in here, which would probably go best on this wall right here between the closet door and the entry door to the bedroom. The smaller room, on the other hand, has a much larger closet. You could hang stuff here, here, and here. And since you've got shelves and drawers, this is kind of like having a built-in dresser, which is really gonna be handy. Let me know in the comments which of these two rooms you think is better. And if you wanna rent this place, check out the video description where there's a link to this listing. Then let's tour another apartment. Pick one of these right here, and I will see you in the next video.